Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We're here back in Novigrad in our fancy new Griffin School gear. And it's pouring, it's kind of stormy, which is uh, fitting because here with me it's storming like hell outside as well. But today we're going to continue the Count Reuven's treasure quest. So we uh, need to meet Triss and find a way to uh, get Dijkstra's treasure back from Menge, the leader of the guard here in Novigrad, the temple guard. So this is the Shrine of the Eternal Fire. And now we need to meditate until it's midnight. So let's do that immediately. There we go. I think it's so handy we can do that. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What That's do you true. suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tris is sure about this here and now. Yeah, let's not do that, but let's start with an explanation. Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. But they're gonna torture you. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will and in chains? Yes. No, okay, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Okay then, and afterwards? Fine, let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Okay, so we need to... Hmm. Keep him busy. And hope that he spills something about Dandelion on... Accident? Okay then, let's go. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Meaning that we'll have to endure mm, while hearing her right. suffer. We'll do our best. So the annoying thing about this part is that it doesn't really allow you to save in between, I think. For which everything needs to go right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. That was easy. A bit too easy, probably. Well, well. Triss Merigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't Sounds about turning right. Turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold, for good. 
put her in a cell. No. He won't allow that. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Well, I hope you wait with that. Um... Okay, how are we gonna do that? Just try to lose it friendly. If I were you might learn something interesting. For instance, for instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you. Shut your gob, Ginger Whore, and you spit it out. Where's Eilhart? Hmm. We won't tell you. We're gonna tell your boss. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Manga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, well I then think you, you be will. Sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. And he already Fine. did talk Grab to her us. And come with me, but be sure to stay right close. Okay then. So I'm gonna take the opportunity now to save really quickly because we uh, might not get the opportunity later on. Because we are right in the lion's den right now. And there's a lot of guards around as you can see. More than I would be able to handle. Oh. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Oh, God. Okay. I would say fine, but no torturing. Until we get to talk to Menge. Which I'm gonna try. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin, and Marigold will get what she deserves. Okay, sounds... Good, we could use Axie here, but there's way too many guards for that to be effective. Trust me, I've tried. So, uh, let's continue along the path we've chosen. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. Sorry, Triss. Hang in there. And that's kind of macabre. So, Mr. Mange. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Eilhart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. Okay then. This little piggy went to market. Okay, this but is going to be that tough. Easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. You seem to be having uh, a bit of a leak in your barracks. Have a drink, Witcher. So let's try and tell him what he wants to hear. Okay, why not? We're kind of immune to poison anyway, so... Sidarian. A 1261 vintage. Year of the Massacre of Sintra. Oh, and that's where we found Stop Siri. <laughs> this little piggy went home! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. 
Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler? Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. <laughs> okay then. Hmm. Oh, well, the silver sword on my back, not enough. Got a silver sword on my back, that not enough? It proves nothing. Dobblers can change their bodies at will, into materials that look and feel like silver as well. Materials that have none of silver's useful properties, naturally. See, you're Fair an enough. expert on Dopplers. I'd expect a witcher of all... things to understand the value of knowing one's enemy. True. This little piggy had roast beef. Yeah, he's not hiding his emotions there. So the longer I keep him talking, the longer Triss will be uh, now, tortured. Now, let us talk shop. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Marigold. Awfully Good. generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. Well, that's awfully friendly. Hmm. Let's give him a reason why we put Triss in his hands. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. No. No more. <laughs> Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee! Go! You won't Fish, see Fish, anything Fish. in Geralt's oh, face. Bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. Or a you bit. surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa. But I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? Hmm. Well, we're looking for both the treasure as dandelion, so let's go with that first. It's simple. Free dandelion. A degenerate bird for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit. But I must say no. And I think you this see, conversation I have a ends here. Execution plan for dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When's this morally instructive spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person. Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. So sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. But first, let's see how Miss Marigold fears it. It's grown suspiciously quiet in there. Yeah, I think she's Come. up to something. And you won't like what she's up to. Looks like uh, a few guys died. Hello, Triss. And we're not going to intervene on that one. They say where Dandelion is. Yes, but... Okay! Goodbye, Mangy. Trace. I think she's kinda pissed. I would too. I would be too in that situation. Sorry for that, Tris. I should tend to your wounds. No need. I'm fine. Well, mostly fine. Should heal in time for my wedding. Sorry. Should have gotten you out sooner. Don't apologize. I knew what I was signing up for. Okay. How do 
I say this? That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? Manga said Dandelion's locked up on Temple Isle, dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Manga gave the order, in person. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Geralt. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... We wanted to take revenge. So no need to explain. After what they subjected you to, no need to explain. He... he'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. We should think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe, for now. Though out of reach. We don't stand a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable. And Menga's not likely to order his transfer. Or anyone's, for that matter. So we need a Doppler, it seems. So necromancy won't be a, a fancy option, because that would be, uh, well, convincing to the other guards, because all these don't seem to be that nice to other people. So Menge burned something, and let's search his body. Okay. Saw Menge burn a sheet of paper right before we came in here. Could have been something on it that would have helped us. Oh, too late now. So there's no way you could recover the note? Sadly, no. I'm a sorceress, not a miracle worker. Okay, then let's check the body. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us. Just as kind of disturbing pockets. this year with the blood on her face. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. She even has the bruise Here, on her cheek from the, give it to Dijkstra with the hit she got guards. when we came in. Okay, that's one piece of the puzzle. Hmm, necromancy. Okay then. Could you revive him? Maybe. If I actually practiced black magic. Haven't sunken that low just yet. That's kind Nothing of a sneer since uh, Yennefer Need does do. practice black magic. Um. Breaking Dandelion out starting to look like our last option. Geralt, you know me. I'm all for finding solutions. I don't give up easily. But in this case, there's no hope. Not a shred. No one escapes the dungeons beneath the temple. And no one's ever been broken out. Anyone actually tried? It's a first for everything. They've tried, Geralt. I've tried, to be exact. Shortly before you arrived. It almost cost me my life. Okay. But we don't have much to work with otherwise. Meng is the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. Or someone who looks exactly like him. Dudu. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bybervelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. That's yeah, true. Yeah, except in one Dudu's of the books. in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen. There is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. Come by when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. And we will come by, Triss. We can't have a debt now, since we put you through all that. We'll find a way out of the Witch Hunter's outpost. Hmm. So maybe... A word about uh, Dopplers. Dopplers can change the appearance, as we've already seen. Their appearance to look like other people, but it goes further than that. Uh, according to the books, they can even take over equipment, as Mangi mentioned uh, a few moments ago, before he got a knife stuck in his throat. That they can indeed use their body to also make materials other than just simply the body. To also copy equipment and other things. But it even goes further than that, because they also take over the abilities of the person they're imitating. So, Dudu impersonated Geralt in one of the books, and he actually got some of his combat techniques as well. So 
they're making for a very interested, interesting scene. So we need to get that, but probably not through that door. So that one leads back to the barracks, so we probably should take this one. Okay, we got the key. And this way we can get out unnoticed. And this Trish is where we split up. should be but able first, to uh, work her magic a bit. Let's burn down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, burn, baby, but burn. But I also need to blow off some steam. Okay. Have fun, Triss. Burn, baby, burn. Maybe quickly loot some stuff. She is having fun. So, with that done, we only need to get a, w a way out of here. Which is simple by climbing on top of these things. Just gonna need to check that we don't arrive at something worse than where we were. And now we need to return to Dijkstra, of course, to tell him what we've learned. And that we can actually do instead of using the door over there by uh, breaking down this wall. And Dijkstra's men are already waiting outside, apparently. Mr. Roven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Nothing. Be there soon. Who oh, do it I seems spy? like the barracks Why are on Geralt fire. Rivia? <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. As soon as you tell me where my treasure is. You've got the me key. Menge didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Uh, badly. You've seen the buildings on fire? I suppose that explains the smoke. <laughs> My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Of course it is. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? Of course First not, off, Dijkstra. A little bit of faith. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault. Who's getting punched? Menge. A vault? That I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Okay, a little bit of appreciation would be nice. Who's dying over there? Um. Okay. That's all you're gonna say. No wry remark. No scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. Again. Yep. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't dare to share that information with me. Of course not. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How'd you find out? I asked the questions here. Not true. That was a statement. Come on, Dijkstra. This tough guy act doesn't work on me. We're both adults. Act like one. <laughs> Geralt, I should have you strangled, but I like you, you bastard. Okay, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think it's mutual, but let's lie again. I like you too. You count without a county. Now that we've professed our feelings for each other, how'd you figure it out? Since from the start, you were up to something. You didn't haggle about your pay. And then I heard from my sources that Margrave Henkel and Dandelion had rubbed elbows. It wasn't hard to connect the dots. And now, time to settle things. Okay, then. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Nice. Father, I know what happened to Dandelion. Then take my coin. I always pay my debts, even to liars. Okay. And the final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Are you a Lannister? Well, I'll probably will, but thank you, Dijkstra. Hey. 
Still don't know who was dying around here, but I guess it doesn't matter. Because uh, now we need to head back to the Golden Sturgeon and have a little chat with Priscilla to find out if uh, she knows where Dudu is. So let's quickly go ahead and see you there. It's funny, I can actually kind of read what's on this wall. It looks like it reads, I love Priscilla. <laughs> so, let's get back inside and up to her room. It's a lot calmer here than we uh, than when we first found her. Back again, Rivian Trap. Rivian Trash, okay. Geralt. Hello, Priscilla. Dandelion, I know where he is. Where? Dungeons on Temple Isle. That's not a nice jest. And it's no not just a jest. But don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Dudu. So you must find Dudu in order to find Dandelion? With the aim of ultimately finding Siri. Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. Okay. We gotta meet Horson Jr. He might know something. So there we have it. Uh, I don't know why we would have needed to talk to her to know we need to find Horson Jr. But hey, at least she's up to speed. Take care now. So till next time, Priscilla. So, and with that done, I'm gonna take a little break, so if you liked the video, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube, and subscribe to my channel for more of this series and for other series, since I'm also working on a, a special run-through of XCOM. I'm gonna soon be uh, starting my Dark Souls 3 playthrough when it comes out in two weeks from now, at the point of recording. So, for all that, check, my, check out my channel. And I thank you guys enormously for watching and all the support, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!